Trevor, what game are we playing today? Carcassonne. All right. Do you like Carcassonne? Yeah. And why? Because there's so much variety that goes into this game, and it's never the same twice. So. All right. Yeah. Okay. Well, what's the objective? To score the most points by placing knights, farmers, and thieves. And thieves. All right. Well, let's take a look at how you do it. All right. All right. So let's not be thrown off by this checkerboard <laughs> tablecloth. But tell me how it plays. All right. Well, over here, you see we have this score track, and this just keeps track of the points that you earn throughout the game. Here's your starting tile that they always start with. And the player whose turn it is picks from one of these piles. There's no significance to which pile you pick from, but you pick one, and here's what it does. So you can either place it right here so that the road connects, right here so that the farmland connects or right here so that the city connects. Okay. It just has to connect to something. Yeah. When you place a tile, you can choose to place one of your meeples on either the farm, the road, or the castle. City. So, when, let's say I place it on the road, and that ends your turn, so the next person goes. Alright, so it looks like we're further along. What's going on? Well, as you can see, there's a lot more meeples on the board to score more points, and they're further along on the point track over here. And it's nearing the end of the game. So let's say it was Red turn, Red's turn, and he picked this tile. Okay. It's a road tile. He would probably want to play it right here, because he, when he's in his cloister, all the, when all the tiles are around him completed, he takes off his monk and he scores nine points. From this track. Nice. Cloisters are nice. Yeah. So okay. let's say then Greenland. So when Green goes, he could place that right there. And that would complete his city, giving him two, four, six, eight, ten. And then each additional shield gives him another two points. Twelve, fourteen, sixteen. So he would just score sixteen points for that. Wow. Well it looks like uh, Black's got a big city going on there too. Yeah, so let's say it was Blue's turn, and he drew this tile. This tile is a pretty big city tile, if you can see that. Okay. And he might say, okay, well, I've got this city over here, but if I played it on myself, that would just kind of hurt me. So I would want to play it on black, because I don't like this player very much. And he plays it right there, and that makes it harder for him to complete his city, and it's near the end of the game, so he probably won't complete his city. So what happens at the end of the game if his city isn't complete? He only gets one point for each of the tiles and each of the pendants that are on it. Okay, so it cuts his points in half. Yeah. Same for roads? Yeah, you only get one point for each road segment that you've got that's not completed. Alright, then the other thing at the end of the game is now you get to score your farmers. How do those score? Oh, the farmers. The farmers stay there for the whole game and for each farm that's connected to you, kind of like, okay, so you're on this farm. If you're on, connect to this city, this city, this city, this city, and that city, that's all the ones that yellow is connected to. Because, because the farm, so point how he connects to that far city. So he connects to this because he's right here and the grass connects. If he's right here because that's another completed city and it cuts down over here to right there and to right there and to right there. But the road tiles kind of cut off your farm. Okay. So what about, anyway, what about the city down here that the blue is on? It's not completed, so you don't, the farmer doesn't score any points for it. Okay. He only scores points for completed cities, and he gets four points per completed city. So four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty points for wow. yellow right there. So that would boost him up a lot. If you don't have a farm, you can get some good points. Yeah. Awesome. All right, so uh, what would you rate this game overall? I would give it a four. Four? Why? Because there's always so much variety, and it's never the same, and it's always fun to play with a lot of people. Okay. Now, they've got a lot of uh, expansions for it as well. Have you played some of the expansions? Yeah. And do you like those? Yeah, they make it a lot more varietyistic. <laughs> I've never heard that word before. Neither have I. <laughs> yeah, so uh, what kind of things does it add? Well, it adds more ways to get points, and more ways to lose points, and a lot more tiles to make the game go longer. Okay. What about uh, 
age of players? Age, I would say this could be a 10 and up game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about Caleb? Does he play? Of course he does. He plays anything. <laughs> All right. What about number of players? There's five, but with the expansion, it adds gray. So you could get six if you had an expansion. All right. So we can get a full family going. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Trevor. Thank you.